I play drums and cymbals and guitars. I'm Matt, and I play bass and cymbals and guitars. I'm Matt, and I play keyboards and cymbals and guitars. I'm Joe, and I play guitar and sing and cymbals and guitars. I'm Brian, and I play keyboards and cymbals and guitars. <laughs> Alright, so I guess the first question I have for you guys, uh, I read, I've read a lot of things that say that you guys, two of you guys met in high school, Yes. and then I guess is that the birth of Symbols E Guitars, or? More or less. Yeah, the uh, fetal form. Right here. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty new. I joined the band this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 This will be his third show with us. Cool. How, how did you get in? <laughs> I passed an audition. <laughs> uh, yeah, our uh, our former our exam. former bassist uh, exited the band after our first after our tour. He was like, oh, "Essay <laughs> for my tryout." So your last album, Why We're in Mountains, pretty much um, it got an eight point three on Pitchfork, and it was it was pretty much like. Everyone talked about how great it was, and I think that launched you. Um, you guys got a lot of publicity out of that. Were you guys surprised when Pitchfork, the snobbiest music blog in the world, gave you an 8.3? Um, I, uh, I mean, I thought that I thought that the record was was good, like good, like good enough to pour as much money and time into it as we did. Um, but I, I mean, it, it seemed. We were, we were pleasantly surprised that they, yes. that they, I mean, yeah, just happy that they liked it. I've, been, I've read Pitchfork <coughs> for a long time, since high school, and I got a lot of my, my key bands, like key formative bands from Pitchfork, so it's just, it's an honor. Guitars, that name, um, I read that it's from like Lou Reed's philosophy on bands. Can you just like elaborate on that and like why singles and guitars? Um, yeah, high end hash on, on records, cymbals, eating guitars. Uh, uh, the first three Velvet Underground records, people would ask Lou Reed why there's no cymbals, why Motok only used floor tom, kick, and snare, and uh, that's why cymbals eat up guitars. <laughs> Are you guys working on another album right now? Yeah, slowly and um, surely. Can you as tell it us comes. anything about that? Like, is, when is it? When are you guys planning to release it? Um, it'll when probably <laughs> end up coming out. Yeah, when it's done. It'll because you know, yeah. you release a shitty second record and it's just yeah, it's not. People so forget the best about thing you. We already um, have about we have three songs that yeah, are about three songs super that super solid. Like, I'm really really psyched about the new material. How is the new material going to be different from? Um, the album you have out now? Um, well, the album we have out now was made when we weren't really a live band. Um, so, you know, it was more of like making the transition from being a studio project with lots of, you know, overdub heavy. The record is very overdub heavy. I mean, there's at any given time, there's like three guitars or, you know, four guitar tracks and many vocal tracks. And now, this time around, since um, we have a nice live band thing going, um, it'll be a pleasure to, like, to capture that in a room, like the four of us playing at the same time, and less overdubs, more space, um, and more, I guess, I mean, the songs kind of move in, uh, you know, sections and movements on this record, and that's sort of still happening, but in a more cohesive way in the new songs, a little, a little poppier, more mel melody than before. <laughs> look for in other bands like if you guys were all going to see a show tonight what type of a band like would you want to see live and like do you feel like that's the same type of band Somebody that you guys try to be? Uh, I don't know I mean music's of course critical what they're playing but for me for a live show it's really how they're playing it if they're not having fun then I'm not gonna have fun and yeah I like to see people enjoy their music as much as the people listening to it and like 
you know, self seriousness and, that was good. and, and mm -hmm. bullshit is so easy to detect live and like when you're going to see bands. So I, I and I just I'm turned off by like the Dorchestra thing, like having like 20 people on stage <laughs> and like one guy playing low tom. Uh, the Arcade Fire can do it because like you know, but uh. <laughs> <laughs>